Hi, Geminis. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. This is a timeless love reading for my singles. Let's see what spirit has for you. Let's see what's coming into your life. You can use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of, or to confirm a love that's come into your life. So let's see what we have. We'll do some clues and any evidence that spirit may want to share with me, anything that's coming your way. Spirit, this is a fully channeled message. Please, Spirit, share with me any guided messages that you have for my Geminis. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance. So just keep your energy high. Keep that vibration high. You know, what is it that you want? We want to be very hopeful. We want to be filled with uh, love to give so that we can receive it. All of those things. I have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Being really, really open with somebody. Maybe it's a time to open up to the person that you're with. Let's see what else we have. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit. Fun Time to have fun and time to shine. So playfulness, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honesty, optimism, all the best qualities in a relationship, and then romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exper experiencing. I want real feelings, spirit. I am ready. I am ready for real feelings. I want somebody to say, this is real. I feel it also. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm so grateful that you were guided here. Please remember to hit that like button, comment below. As I continue to grow my channel, um, those things really do help. And um, I really appreciate you acknowledging my time and, and my gift. Spirit, please share with me um, messages of love. What do you have for my Gemini today? Three of Pentacles. Chariot. I have a hanged man. I have an eight of wands. Now, this just came into me. It's interesting. The hangman came into me totally different than how I usually look at the hanged man. It was someone that you wouldn't expect. OK, so um, either an opposite opposites attract something like that. Um, least expect. OK, somebody that you least expect to fall in love with. I, I love that. It's almost this feeling of spirit showing you like, hey, you're not in control of who you fall in love with. I am. And I'm going to pleasantly surprise you by, you know, just putting this energy in front of you. This energy may come in very quickly. This chariot feels like it's fast moving to me. I do feel like um I'm going to say a little bit of a blown away feeling that like I was not expecting to have feelings for this particular person. And then here I am. Here I am. Lo and behold, wheel of fortune. You don't get to decide who you fall in love with or when. Only spirit gets to decide that. That is what's at play right now. Seven of Pentacles. I want to build something with you. Somebody who's honest and truthful. It's almost as if that I have a relationship with this person. This person may be in front of you in a different way. They could be connected to you through work or circles or your past. Not a, not a reconciliation like a past lover, but somebody from your past that... Um, I don't know. We just were we were in the same high school together. We uh, we went to college together, something like that. But it's a feeling of I've known this person, but I never thought of them that way. I never really thought of them in a romantic relationship. Maybe you were with someone else. They were with someone else. The timing wasn't right. Uh, the timing is right now is how it's coming into me. Nine of swords, three of cups and a six of pentacles. That just came into me as this person is going to be really good to you. I don't want you to struggle with things like I'm not sure because I've kind of always known of this person or I knew of them and you know, I know of them. I don't want you to second guess why spirit is putting somebody in, in front of you. I only want you to be filled with why, what it's happening and what your feelings are. Okay. You don't have 
you don't get to decide that somebody from that you knew years ago, you're in a, you were in a different place then. They were in a different place then. You both could have moved on to different relationships. Your paths could have had you know detours for whatever reason. It wasn't the right time um, in the past, but it's the right time now. I'm going to say there's something going on with that. Uh, the right time is now. There, there is a, there is a sense of. I never in a million years thought that I would see this person again or reconnect with this person. And I really, really feel like this is somebody that I, it was the last person on earth I thought that I'd fall in love with. And, um, but I'm happy. I'm going to be happy. If it hasn't happened yet, it's, it's, you're going to be super happy. Okay. So when spirit, when within the next three months, that's a good window next full moon. Oh, I like all these stars, like the stars are aligning in December. In December, we just came out of December, that could be a birthday month for somebody we just came out of December. Uh, it's up to you. That came into me as I have my eye on you. I've had my eye on you. How about something like I've always had a thing for you, you know, just this I've always kind of in the back of my mind had a little bit of a crush on you. I've always been attracted to you. It just was not the right time at the right place in the past. A couple more of these next month. And I have in the summertime and within a year, within a year seems like a long time, but you can meet this person within the next three months and be totally in love with them within a year. So I'm going to go with, I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards heading into the late spring, early summer months, to tell you the truth. Um, I really am. I'm, I'm feeling that I'm, I want to push it out into like the warmer weather for some reason. I feel like I'm, um, I'm not freezing when I'm with them. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm outside, the sun is shining. It's kind of like spring fever. I'm going to say it that way. Spring fever energy could be just, I like have feelings for this person. Um, so keep your eyes and ears open, you know, heading into late spring, early summer. Uh, you could meet this person anytime, but that's just what I'm feeling intuitively. Spirit, share with me any energy around their personality, anything about their personality, healthy, takes good care of themselves. I feel like that's something that you have in common. Healthy eating, you like to talk about, you eat, like to eat the same foods, you like to cook the same ways. Um, I feel like that's an important part of both of your um choices. I, either we are working harder to be healthier, or we are both very health conscious, something like that. So I feel like that's really important. Independent, independent. Um, that came into me almost as like self employed. Okay, so I'm going to say self employed or has the ability to create something for themselves, earn money for themselves. Uh, it could be a part time job. It could be an additional job, something like that. They use the experience that they've had over the years to create something new. So uh, very entrepreneurial. I will say that like they're the they're the they are their own boss. Spirit just said uh, forgiving, understanding, honorable, honest. I like that. Observant taking every little thing that's happening around the two of you and keeping like a mental log of what's going on and uh, what's important to you and things that you like, you know, whether it's things that you like to eat, things you like to um, drink, what kind of wine do you drink? What kind do you like? How do you take your coffee? You know, like all those little things that add up. They're very helpful to you analytical, they think things through, they think things through, they, that also came into me as they write everything down. I know that sounds weird, but they're one of those people that like to write things down. They make lists, they put it in their phone, they put it on their calendar. Um, like they do not want to drop the ball on things. So they, they're very organized, uh, spirit just said, so maybe you like that. Maybe you like that in a person. And like, I want to be with somebody who's very organized. Um, they don't just like fly by their seat of their pants. They plan things. Spirit, what sign may they be? Let's say uh, Sagittarius. I like this bow and arrow in this card. Aries. 
They could be a Libra. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Capricorn or they could be a Taurus. Okay, so they could be any. These are just clues, just a handful of clues just to give you some energy today. So Spirit, share with me more about this relationship. Right now, I do feel like I'm going to be blown away. It's fast moving, but I, I'm blown away, one, because it's going to be somebody I really connect to. But two, I'm blown away just because of the kind of circumstances of this person being in my life and that... I think it's somebody that neither one of us were expected to fall for each other. And we're glad that we did. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. And this person's being put on your path for a reason. And I'm going to say it's been probably part of a soul contract throughout your life in some way, you know, that you have a lot of synchronicities, a lot of synchronicities. Let's see what we have. I have a doorway. An opportunity is about to present itself that leads you to this new person. So here comes this door opening. I love doorways. You guys know that. I love arches, openings, bridges, anything that tells me I'm going to something else. I'm, I'm crossing over. Clarity. Love can be complicated. See clarity in your relationships. I feel like this person is very focused. This person is not just flying by the seat of their pants. They they write things down. They put things on their calendar. They're organized. This is somebody who is going to see this connection as I want to spend time with you and I've always had a thing for you and I would like to see where this can go because the timing wasn't ever right in the past. And I don't want you to get away this time. So I do feel like there's a sense of seeing this whole unfolding or our past crossing again as um, a gift, a gift from God. Time alone. Spend some time alone. It will help you gain clarity on your relationship. We've had some time alone. It could be that we both are divorced right now. We were We've known we knew each other when we were married. Uh, we were friends of friends, you know, something like that. But we've had time alone. We've had time to heal. So I just feel like the timing is better. I really do. Friendships. This connection is based on a friendship. It may never develop into more, but it may develop into more. You could have started out as friends. We could have been friends from years ago. We didn't realize we had romantic feelings for each other. And let's get, let's, these are so pretty. Let's get, let's get one more of these. I have a wish. Someone you wish for is coming into your life. What is it that you wish for? What is it that you wish for? Make a wish, claim it below. I, I wish for somebody that wants to be with me. I wish for somebody that has real feelings. They said um, somebody that, you know, the timing is right, that, they've had time to heal, that they're ready to be in a relationship. You know, all of these things are coming into play kind of all at once. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. What do you have? I have a queen of wands, passionate. I've always had a thing for you. King of cups. There you go. They've had, they've had feelings for you. Nine of pentacles. They, that, that came into me as I have, um, they're secure in their life in other areas. Their career is probably going very well. They probably are established. It, it's it's that part of their life they don't have to work on. I feel like they just want somebody to share their life with. Right now, I feel like, you know, they're doing a lot of, this is coming into me as I think they might manage a couple of different businesses. They have multiple jobs. They own a business and work full time or they have their hands in things like I own a business, but then I have investments with like real estate. Like that just came into me as I'm, I'm a really good multitasker. I'm a really good uh, person to get my arms around wealth or create wealth for myself. So I'm not really um, questioning that two of pentacles because it's coming into me as I'm actually really good at juggling. Um, and I'm focusing more on this queen of wands and king of cups, page of wands. Uh, you know, believe it or not, this came into me as I have a crush on you. And it could be as simple as that. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care what age this crush comes into your life. It's like, I have a crush on you. I've always had a crush on you. And that 
that that that ties into my feeling that I keep saying I've always had a thing for you. I've always had a thing for you. I have an offer to make you. I want to take you out. Can we go on a real day? That just came in. Like, can we go on a real day? I have an emperor ready. This person is secure in other areas of their life. So they're going to realize that you're available. They're going to realize that this is something that they want. And I do feel like they're going to step forward. I, I like this feeling of crush. I really do. I have a crush on you. I, I think that that's kind of, like I said, it doesn't matter how old you are. You know, it's just kind of fun and exciting and flirty. And I know this person is attracted to me. To me, I can tell the way that they're looking at me. I can tell the way that they check me out, um, just the way they look me up and down, something like that. So you got something that that's cooking here. I feel butterflies when I see you. That certainly would be this energy. That would be I have always felt this way. Every time I arc paths have crossed, every time you're in front of me, I just feel like it's exciting. There's something about you. You know, Spirit just said, like our souls almost kind of talk to each other behind the scenes. Like here you are again. And I know that I haven't seen you for a while, but I'm really excited to see you again. So I have butterflies. I love everything about you. Beautiful. I feel like I want to say I just have been waiting for you. You make my heart skip a beat. Yeah, it's all that crush, you know, like I have a crush on you. I'm, I, um, I'm excited about these new feelings. I haven't felt this way for anybody in a long time. And then I feel like there's this sense of um, it's not just for play. It, it's a uh, let's make this official. Let's go on a real day. Let's let me take you out to dinner. You know, let, let's let's um, let's see if this can be real. You know, like I don't feel like it's all for play. I mean, that's the fun part. I feel we are are fated to be together. I want that. I want that for you. I want somebody who you keep crossing paths with this person and for whatever reason, it, it wasn't meant to be the first time. And this person crosses your path now. You are my light in the dark. I love that. And no one compares to you. And late at night, sometimes I can't sleep thinking about you. So right now, I'm going to say if this hasn't entered into your energy yet, we'll just put it out into the universe. We'll manifest it. Ask spirit to keep putting this person in front of you so you can recognize this. But it is a feeling of, I do feel like I know this person. I feel like I've known them for a while. And I feel like I just never thought of them romantically. But it was probably because one of you weren't available at the time. And now that you're both available, it's like, I don't want, I don't want this opportunity to get away from us. So we are going to take this to the next level. We're going to see where this goes. Let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for your kind comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.